Israel's military and Palestine's Hamas have agreed to three separate zoned three-day pauses in fighting in Gaza to allow the first round of vaccinations of um, 6,40,000 children against polio. The vaccination campaign is uh, due to start on Sunday with the pauses scheduled to take place between 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, as per a senior official of the World Health Organization. He said that the campaign would start in central Gaza with three consecutive daily pauses in fighting, then move to southern Gaza where uh, there would be another three-day pause followed by northern Gaza. A second round of vaccinations uh, would be required four weeks after the first round. The World Health Organization has confirmed on August 23rd that um, one baby has been paralyzed by the type 2 polio virus, the first such case in Gaza in the past 25 years. Of course, latest developments are coming in at this point of time. In fact, uh, uh, joining us at this point of time is the Wing Commander Praful Bakshi. Um, so thank you so much for taking our time and speaking to us on NewsX. Now, um, you know, again, from the looks of it, although there is going to be a three-day pause to ensure that polio vaccinations are given uh, to roughly 6,40,000 students, considering the fact that there's a first uh, a type 2 polio case that has now been reported in Gaza after a span of 25 years, how do you then view, uh, you know, this, this sort of a, a temporary settlement uh, that both Israel and Hamas has then come to? Good morning, Asavari. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, after a long time on your channel, very nice. But I tell you that this news, what you're giving, is very heartening. This directly relates to the humanitarian program in the area of conflict. Asavari, there are provisions for doing this in Geneva Conventions. If the two sides are, when they're fighting, if they're approached by humanitarian uh, organizations and the both commanders agree to hold the fight for humanitarian program whether it is evacuation of refugees or dead body exchange or POW exchange or vaccination of uh, the children as you know 6,45,000 and even in India 1971 war the war was stopped for a couple of hours to retrieve the camels in Rajasthan sector even that had happened if you, if both sides, Red Process and Red Crescent organizations are, they organize this and is a white uh, flag meeting which takes place between the commanders and thereafter they carry out this humanitarian program. It, it, it has been done during Second World War. It has been done during a number of times where the Red Cross activity and humanitarian activity is allowed to be carried out and belligerents stop firing, stop bombing for that period of time. This is a great, actually, uh, quality which is there in Geneva Conventions and both sides agree to it. And we are very happy that the commanders have agreed for the three-day uh, program in the south and uh, central south and north uh, and even extending it if they require it. That, it augurs so well and uh, it means that both sides are looking for reprochement. Now they are thinking in terms of humanity. And it, this is a time where a very strong country with the humanity in mind, if it um, mediates, I'm telling you, there is a chance of halting this conflict if a country takes uh, initiative in this game. All right, so absolutely. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast, sharing your perspectives with our viewers. On that note, we slip into a very short break. Stay tuned. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.